Receiving a parking ticket is never good news, but if you suspect it may be fake, then that news could be even more sinister. Unwittingly giving your bank details to a fraudster is a very scary notion, one that could cost you thousands. Let's look at telling the genuine from the fake and how to separate a mischievous prank from a malevolent scam. There are several ways you could receive a genuine PCN. The ticket could be left on your windscreen or sent to you through the post. But crucially, a PCN or other genuine parking ticket from a local authority or a private parking operator will never get sent via email. But that hasn't deterred fraudsters from coming up with numerous parking ticket scams involving emails. One common tactic is claiming to be from HM Courts and Tribunal Service. The email will state that your charge is going to increase rapidly if you don't pay and provides a link to take a prompt online payment. However, the fraudsters are really just out to steal your bank details. Never click on any links in a scam email. If you do, contact your bank and let them know that you may have inadvertently provided your details to a fraudster. You can buy fake parking tickets online to be used as a prank. It's one thing to try these on a friend or a family member's windscreen, however, things have gone horribly wrong when pranksters have tried it out on unwitting strangers. Just look online at the amount of angry and sometimes violent parking ticket prank videos. While most fake tickets will state clearly on them that they are a joke, some of the tickets available look genuine, making them ideal for fraudulent use. Don't contact any details on a ticket if you're unsure, particularly if you think you weren't parked illegally. Instead, find the genuine contact number for the real issuer in your area and check that the ticket is genuine. You may find a parking ticket on your car placed there by other people not in authority. The ticket may be genuine, but was it put on your car by another driver? People can do strange things when they're angry. I actually found this pouch stuck to a lamppost recently. Anyhow, always check the details on a parking ticket before you do anything. Is it your car's registration number written on there? Not all parking tickets are placed on your windscreen or given to you by hand. You can get one through the post. When you receive one in the mail, please don't do anything until you're sure it's genuine and not a fake. For example, do not send a payment until you're sure that the ticket is yours to pay and that you actually committed an offence. My advice if you feel that a parking ticket is not genuine, no matter how you got it, is to contact the official issuer and not the number written on the ticket. Never feel pressurised to make a quick payment to avoid extra cost. Scammers tend to ignore official procedure, pressurising people to pay faster so that they can access your account before you have time to raise the alarm. Remember, when you get a genuine parking ticket, you have got 14 days to pay up or appeal when it's left on your windscreen. However, if you get a parking ticket through the post, you could be given 21 days to pay. If you're in any further doubt, then you may want to seek legal advice. A popular option is to consult a solicitor. There's many online solicitors that work out cheaper and easier than meeting one in person. Just Answer, for example, only costs £5 for a trial. One of my colleagues saved £271 on a genuine ticket after speaking with one of their solicitors. I've linked that offer in the description, and if you use that, you'll also be supporting Money Nerd, so thank you.